teachings of Rabbi Ephraim Sprecher, Dean of Students at Diaspora Yeshiva on Mount Zion, Jerusalem. Hey, good afternoon. Here today is called, How Does Counting the Omer Help Us Cope with Corona? That's a $64 question. We're counting these 49 days between uh, Pesach and Shuot because we were in 49 levels of Tumah when we left Egypt in order to shed the 49 levels of Tumah and gain the 49 levels of Kedusha to get ready for a Matan Torah, we have to count. What does it mean for us today? Why are we counting today? We count each day to make each and every day count. We're counting the Sphira. Now, there's seven Svirot. What are the seven Svirot? The seven Svirot are the seven human character traits that we have in this world. First one is Chesed, loving kindness. So we all have to practice, and God practices on us. Givura, which means inner strength. Self-control, as the Mishnah says, Eze Gibor HaKovesh Yitzro, who is a hero, one who is able to control his passion and desire. So Givura, inner strength. Tiferet, we'll talk about that later. Number four, Netzach. Number five, Hod. We'll explain that later. Number six, Yisod. And number seven is Malchut. All our human attributes reflect these seven supreme attributes as God appears in his relationship to us. So we're going to focus on these seven attributes, which we count during the seven weeks of Svira, seven times seven, leading up to Kabbalah Tatorah. It's the pragmatic and practical levels of the human character. The interaction between the spherot is actually an entire network of spiritual channels directing God's shefa, God's abundant goodness down to us. Now what are the spherot? What are the spherot? They are God's midot, measures, attributes, qualities, or vessels and tools. The Svirot are all of these things. God's measures, attributes, qualities, vessels, and tools that God uses to direct, govern, and control our world. The word Svira, where does the word Svira come from? It comes from the word Asapir, which means brilliant sapphire. In Pashis Mishpatim, Exodus 24, by Matan Torah, says the Jews beheld the God of Israel. And they beheld the God of Israel, whatever that means, Exodus 24, and they saw underneath his throne of glory, Kamase Livna Tasapir. They saw like the work of brilliant sapphire. What does that mean? Sapir, brilliant sapphire. Svira, it's the same root in Hebrew. The message is to count and appreciate each and every day as it would be a precious sapphire jewel. Every day has to be unwrapped and cherished and treasured as a brilliant sapphire. So the Jews at Matan Torah according to Exodus 24, saw the shiny lights. What did they see? The Livnata Sapir, they saw God's shiny lights that reveal and express God's greatness and power. God is the Ein Sof. But through these Svirot that the Jews beheld, through these shiny lights, God illuminates his creation. The Svirot are 49 portals into God's spiritual world, his universe.
we get a peek into God's world. Now, if you think about it, whatever God created, he created in twos. The, word, the Torah begins with the word beration, bet. Bet is gematria too. God created two worlds. Olam Azeh, Olam Abba. God created the human being, Guf and the Nishama, body and soul. There's Torah's Nigla, there's the revealed Torah, there's Torah's Nistar, there's the mystery part of the Torah, Torah's Nigla, Torah's Nistar, the open revealed Torah, and the mystery, the Kabbalistic part of the Torah, there's Torah Shavik Sab, Torah Shabbat Peh, there's the written Torah and the oral Torah, and therefore the Torah begins with a bet, Bereshit, everything is twos. The only one is God, he's the one and only. So these Svirot that the Jews beheld by Matan Torah, they saw Hasapir, the shiny lights, these Svirot are windows of the Olam Anistar, the windows into God's spiritual world, a peek into eternity. We're all blinded by the dazzle of Olam Anigla, this world, the revealed world. Olam HaSheker, based on lies and falsehood. The Svirot count filters out the Sheker. Hashem's love is unconditional. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu Kaviyoch Hu contracts himself, Tzimtzum, to give us space. Give me space. How could the universe exist? Everything is God. So the Kabbalists tell us God practiced Tzimtzum. When you love somebody, you give him space. Give me space to develop and grow on my own. That's why it's called outer space. And therefore God created Two parallel worlds. The physical world and the spiritual world. Why? To give us space for us to develop our uniqueness and individuality. God doesn't want puppets. God wants partners. Patikin Olam. When you truly love somebody, you must not crowd him. You have to give him space to perfect and develop like God did to us. We want to teach a child to walk. If every time the child is about to fall and you stop him, the child will never learn how to walk. He'll be a cripple. To teach a child to walk, you have to pull back. You have to let him fall. Because if he doesn't fall, he'll never learn how to walk. He'll be a cripple. So Krish Baruch Hu lets us fall. God pulls back behind the Svirot. to give us a chance to grow, to develop, even though we fall. So in order not to become robots, God pulls back behind the Svirot, as a loving parent does, to allow his child to learn how to walk. If he doesn't fall, he'll never learn how to walk. To give us free choice, a chance to operate. You have to go down, you have to fall in order to rise up again. If that's true, learning how to walk in the physical world, it is certainly true about learning to walk in the spiritual world. Only through freedom of choice. And that means falling down. Sometimes, can we develop spiritual growth and progress? When the going gets tough, the tough get going. God speaks to us through our struggles, through Atsaro, through Corona. It's God's tough love. Our suffering, our trials and tribulations is the stairway to heaven. God is testing us. Tough love. To motivate us, we'll talk about that later. How does corona motivate us to become better? How can we grow from this terrible misery that's surrounding us all over the world? Now, the seven svirot that we count during the seven weeks represent the seven shepherds of Israel. The seven shepherds of Israel. Chesed, loving kindness, is Avram Avinu. Givura, the 
The second sphere is Yitzchak Avinu. Pachad Yitzchak, Gevura, inner strength. To refrain, to hold back sometimes, not to smother a person. To give him a chance to develop and grow and progress on his own, meaning inner strength. That's Yitzchak Avinu. Number three, Tferet is beauty, is, is Yaakov Avinu, who raised the 12 righteous tribes of Israel. That's the beautiful mosaic. Tferet means a beautiful mosaic, 12 tribes. Each tribe had their own identity. Each tribe had their own Nusach, represented by the 12 stones in the Choshen Mishpat, in the Kohen Godel's breastplate. The beauty, the blend. Not everybody has to be alike. Judaism teaches unity, but not uniformity. Unity, but not everyone has to look and talk the same and act the same. That's the beautiful mosaic feret of Yaakov's 12 sons, each with their own nusach, their own personality, their own way of serving God. Number four, Netzach, means to dominate eternity, Moshe Rabbeinu. We still call him Moshe Rabbeinu 3,300 years later. We still call him Moshe Rabbeinu, Torah Moshe, that's Netzach, who dominates forever, Torah Moshe. Moshe Rabbeinu. Hod means to su- submit, to be humble. That's Aaron HaKohen. When, Ar- when his two sons were struck dead, it says, Vayidom Aaron. English word dumb, to remain silent. A moment of silence. Vayidom Aaron. He totally submitted himself to God's will, even though he couldn't understand why God struck his two righteous sons dead. It says, Vayidom Aaron. The English word dumb means to remain a moment of silence. It comes from Aaron. And that is Aaron's, is Mida of Hod. To be completely humble and submit to the will of God, even though we don't understand it. And number six is Yisod Foundation. Which shepherd is that of the seven? Yosef HaTzadik. He was the foundation for his brothers. The entire Middle East would have starved. The worldwide famine. Yosef was the the foundation that saved the entire Middle East, including his whole family, from starvation. So Yosef represents the Midah of Yisod, number six foundation. And the seventh Svira is King David. King David, Malchut. The seventh sphera is Malchut. King David, who blended all the six sphera into himself. And he was therefore chosen to personify the sphera of Malchut, kingship. He was able to praise God as the ultimate source of all power in the universe. King David. These are the seven Svirot. Now, Svirot to Omer. We get to choose how we spend our time. It's easy to connect to this idea now during the corona lockdown. Despite corona's misery, this gives us an opportunity to repair our broken society to bridge the gap that divides us. For instance, Sahal, our holy soldiers, are not exactly welcomed in B'nai Brak. But the past few weeks, Sahal became heroes of B'nai Brak. Can you imagine that? Before this, they would enter B'nai Brak, they would have been treated with hostility, unfortunately. But our holy Israeli soldiers the past month became heroes in B'nai Brak, distributing food parcels, going from door to door to the Haredim, risking their health, knowing the Haredim are sick, and going from door to door 
to deliver food parcels. Now, Tzahal, our holy soldiers, our heroes, even the B'nai Brak. Perhaps this was God's game plan to give us an opportunity to repair our broken society, to bridge what divides us. And now, our holy soldiers will be heroes in B'nai Brak. Maybe that was God's game plan. Who knows? Despite Corona's misery, look at this awesome opportunity to repair our broken society. We have certain physical freedoms taken away from us due to Corona, but we are still in control of our time and how we choose to use it. This, these seven weeks are the bridge from Pesach, our physical freedom, to our spiritual freedom of Shavuot, Matan Torah. Physical freedom alone is not enough. It has to be bridged and connected to our spiritual freedom seven weeks later of Chag Matan Torah. These days, these Svira days, is a time for personal spiritual growth. When we can overcome physical dependence and bad habits and self and self improve ourselves. Being in Corona lockdown has given us the chance to evaluate our lives. How do we spend our time? Give us an opportunity to decipher what's really important in life. Perhaps focus on what we took for granted until now. Because we count each day for 49 days between Pesach and Shavuos, we have an opportunity to reflect on our own personal growth on a daily basis, day by day, to see how our lives are developing, how we spend our time each day. This Shvira, especially this year, will have an impact on our weeks, months, and years as we move on the journey, the long and winding road of life. Despite Corona, we are still in control of our time. That's not taken away from us. Certain physical freedoms have been taken from us. But we are still in control on how do we spend our time. How do we choose to use our time? According to Kabbalah, each week of the seven weeks of the counting is divided up into themes for us to focus on for our personal spiritual growth. Again, the seven svirot. Number one, chesed. We must practice loving kindness. Number two, givura. We have to exercise discipline and self-control. Eze gibor, who's a hero? Someone that's disciplined and self-control. He wants that cheeseburger, but he's not going to eat it, even though it smells so delicious. That's the second sphera. Three, tferet, harmony, to get along with all Jews even though they're not members of your shul. There at the beautiful harmony, Yaakov Avinu, 12 sons, each one different and unique and special from the other, because no one can do it my way. Number four, Netzach, endurance. We are an eternal people. Netzach means eternity. Number five, hold. The meet of hold to practice humility, like Aaron or Cohen. Number six, the six sviras you sold foundation, the foundation of the world, like Yosef at Sadiq. Every one of us, in their own unique way, can be a foundation for his neighbor, his friend, his relative, someone out there that needs our help. You can be the foundation for somebody. Just reach out and touch someone. Today, not literally, hopefully soon. Number six is Yisod, foundation. Number seven, the seventh Svira is Malchut, personified by Melech HaMashiach, King David, majesty, dignity. All of us are royalty. We're all Malchut. We have to remember... We are all children of Melech, Malchi, and Lachim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. 
God says in Deuteronomy, and in Exodus, beneath the Chari Israel, my child, my firstborn is Israel. Exodus 4, B'ni B'chari Yisrael. The first message that God sends to Pharaoh. B'ni, my child, B'chari Yisrael. But not just God's child. Each one of us is like a firstborn. B'ni B'chari Yisrael. The first message to Pharaoh. Parents can have 18 children. They can only be one, one B'chor. One B'chor, one firstborn. We're not just God's children. We're God's, every one of us is unique and special. All of us, we're God's firstborn. And therefore, we are children of the Holy One, blessed be He, the King of Kings. So we're all Malchut, Majesty. This is the time to work on these seven Midot, these seven Svirot that God uses to run the world, control the world, and God has given us. To emulate him, alachta bedrachav. So, posse can do Deuteronomy, alachta bedrachav. We have to walk in God's ways to emulate him. Mahu afata. As God is merciful, we have to be merciful. As God is compassionate, we have to be compassionate. Coping with Corona. How? One day at a time. Take it one day at a time. Sphere the Omer teaches us that no challenge, even Corona, is so great that it cannot be overcome if it is only broken down into manageable pieces. Don't think about what's going to happen, when is it going to be over. Take it one day at a time. There was no way that the Jews just freed from physical and spiritual slavery who were in 49 levels of Tumah could immediately achieve the level of Nasa and Ishma. But the secret is gradual spiritual growth. The achievements of each day becomes a resource for the challenge of the next day, and so on. So in 49 days, we shed the 49 levels of Tumah to get ready for the 50th day of Pesach, of Shavuot, to connect the physical freedom of Pesach to the spiritual freedom of Shavuot. We take it day by day. What I achieve today gives me the capacity to do even more tomorrow. When King Solomon dedicated the temple, he prayed in Kings 1, chapter 8, Umishpat Amo Yisrael, Devarayom Biyomo, God, when you judge us, but each day in its day, God, please let us do it. Take us one day at a time. Give me the strength to get to today of this coronavirus, and give me the strength to get to tomorrow. But day by day, King Solomon says, Kings 1 8, God, judge us. Give us the strength to get through each day, in its day, day by day. The message of Sri Atta Omer is that living one day at a time, taking it one day at a time, is a year-round success formula for facing and confronting the tough challenges of corona and achieving spiritual growth. Yom Yomo. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Sphere teaches us to make time count. In Hebrew, zman means time. But zman also means to prepare in Hebrew. We have one word in Hebrew with two different meanings. There has to be a connection. What is zman time? have to do, Zaman also means the Zuman to prepare. God gives us time in this world to prepare for Olam Haba. Each day is a sapir. Unwrap each day like a precious sapphire. Cherish every day. 
Reach out and help somebody. There's so many people out there with a phone call, a friendly phone call. That's what this coronavirus is teaching us. To appreciate the basics in life, what's really important, family, friends, Physical freedom is taken away, but not our spiritual freedom. We still have that. How to use our time. How to reach out and help somebody. To perfect ourselves each and every day. And we do that by showing loving kindness, chesed, to our fellow Jews. The seven svirot represent the seven colors of the rainbow. Now we know the rainbow has seven colors, but we know it's really all white. It's the prism that makes it look like seven colors, but we know it's only all white. Because Bokhu looks like he's operating to us through these seven svirot, like the seven colors of the rainbow, but it's only one. Kush Baruch the only one. It's ultimate unity. Kush Baruch is the one. The seven svirot that he uses to manage the world all lead back to the ultimate Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. Thank you and have a good day. For more of Rabbi Sprecher's teachings, visit rabbisprecher.com.